Hey, what's up, guys? So today I'm gonna be showcasing you the new Infra Noble post banless one card combo tutorial. And this is a combo that not a lot of people know. I don't think it's out at all yet. I'm probably one of the first people to unleash this combo. And it's something that I literally thought of 30 minutes prior to making this video. Um, but before we start off with the discussion on, you know, how to, you know, adapt your deck and adapt your combos to the ban list, as well as the combo itself, I want to preface and say shout out to Imperium Duelist for sponsoring this, um, I guess, channel. Um, they recently just sent me a new playmat that's actually not released on their channel yet. Um, I really, really want to show you guys this, but I'm going to reopen it in the next video, um, which is going to be talking about how to play through hand traps with the new list, with the new combo, and essentially create a part two series to that and so if you guys want to see that video give this video a thumbs up a like and also don't forget to comment like and subscribe um we're almost at 10,000 subscribers i mean we're like 3,000 subscribers away but we're getting there we're, you know we're creeping up fast so if you want to be here before the 10,000 subscriber gang then join that you know subscription button hit it and also get this video to 1,000 likes so if you do i'll release the video out tomorrow i will literally wake up put out the video tomorrow for you guys um and show you guys how to play through hand traps with the new infernoble deck but yes the new deck i have it built already the new deck um the new combo etc and i call this the first draft because this combo video is literally something i thought about 30 minutes prior like i was mentioning before. i literally theorized this in my head at work because if you guys know um and have been following me on discord etc i've been super super busy with work um, like I have been working non-stop and I'm probably even working this Sunday, right? Like so but but at the same time I'm able to come up with combos like this is because I Don't let the ban list, um, you know Immediately say the deck is dead Like I, I don't come to those conclusions until I'm 100% certain and have tried everything I think and the reason why I bring this up is because I've seen a lot of comments on Facebook You know after I got out of work on Facebook twist chat, um uh, basically reddit post saying that oh infernoble is dead rip infernoble you know ban o like jet ban online ban infernoble is dead gg no re and i'm like and i'm thinking to myself like how much testing have you actually done the ban list just got released one hour ago or two hours ago three hours ago and i'm like you actually just came to those conclusions already and i guess today is not to prove those people wrong but to essentially educate and tell people about the process on how to adapt to a ban list like how to adapt your combo deck to a ban list and this is one of the ways i feel like you can actually show mastery of a deck and and i didn't even want to release this video because i wanted to save it for an lcs but i figured i'd show you guys you know what 30 minutes of testing looks like for me and, and this is why it's only the first draft right and there's more and more combos to come like i said i've already actually figured out ways to, what happens if they ash my soul i figure out how to play through that what happens to imperm ash valor um ghost ogre like i've, I've gammed i thought about how to play through those cards or, or hand traps already and even like the most fearsome one nibiru right like i've thought about those already and uh because i've I thought about that you know like i said get this video to a thousand likes and i'll put that video out for you um but today we're going to be focusing on that one card combo and to show you guys you know how to adapt and how to you know don't don't come to conclusions without actually testing first and and if you don't have the time to test well i hope this video like, like in my testing like i'm testing for you can help convince you otherwise that this deck is still very strong same end board um guys like the same end board savage harold charles same end board um prior to and i mean post ban list like and then that's the the craziest thing and so we're gonna we're gonna jump right into the the video um for sure and like i said before guys uh, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this video um but let's jump right into it so first off we're gonna start off with neospace connector and four blanks of course so um i'm just gonna do a one card combo basically like how to get to a soul day and how to like play from there um obviously like does that have a bunch of extenders so there's multiple ways to get to a soul day and the way you get to a soul day actually matters but i'll talk about that more in like how to play through hand draft video there's actually like like your graveyard matters like what's in your graveyard matters and etc and I'll, I'll show you wh why in like the other video First, we're gonna go Neospace Connector. Just dump a card off Neospace. Uh, we're gonna dump the driver because God, I hate that card in my hand. And uh, we're gonna make a Soul Day and we're gonna add Gear Freed. You could also add Red Layer here and I'll show you why. Um, but essentially, we're gonna go with Soul Day Mill 4. We're gonna summon Arma Knight. Yes, Armageddon Knight. So, not a lot of people know about Ar Armageddon Knight um, that you can summon off a Soul Day. I mean, a lot of people know, but it's a warrior. But how do you combo off from here? And 
you could have, you know, you could easily argue, oh, if you get Ash here, this combo would be stopped. Well, that's what a lot of people think. But in the other video that I will be releasing, I'll be showing you how even if they Ash this Assault Day on the mill four, you're still going to combo off. And, and, and it's just crazy, right? Like, like a lot of people forget to realize that Assault Day is the biggest bait in the history of baiting. Like, it has two effects. And it just baits your opponents to hand trap it like so crazy and and to be quite frank It doesn't it doesn't even matter even if it gets gashed But if it doesn't get ash, then I'll show you what we can do and that's what the purpose of today's video So we're gonna go Armageddon on night and we're gonna dump plague spreader zombie. Okay, so plague plague spreader zombie is gonna get dumped to the graveyard We're gonna make link cross here um, And now we're gonna make two tokens we're then going to use Plague Spreader's effect, and we're going to put one of the Gammas on the top of our deck. It can be any random card. It actually could matter, and I'll show you how in another second. But So now we make Tatsunoko, and so the reason why I make Tatsunoko here is because in the other video, I'm actually going to be trying to uh, bait my opponent to Nibiru, like Nibiru me right here, right now. Like, I'm trying to get my opponent to Nibiru me, and then play through the Nibiru. Um, and that's if, if I, I mean, technically I opened up connector, I mean, dolphin, so I would have seen their hand and figure out how to best play through it. But, um, the reason why you made Tatsunoko, and if you search red layer, you can actually like fake out a savage, but we're actually not even going to make savage there. Instead, we're actually going to make power tool dragon. Yes. You looked at it. Power tool dragon. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use power tool dragon to add us a DDR. And I actually play three DDR in the deck. Um, you can see right here that it says add random card from deck. Um, so I, I didn't like just add one from my deck to my hand. Uh, it is random and I went through the random feature on dual book. But the reason why that I think I played three DDR now and also the main the reason being that it's a guaranteed way to get all power tool. And if you hard draw one of it, the power you actually don't need to go through the power tool dragon route. You can actually like bait it, um, which is really, really cool. Um, but that's basically you go through this route if you don't have access to DDR. If you already have access to DDR, then you're kind of like set. Um, but if you don't have access to it, you can actually just uh, make a savage um, and skip it. So like you would have just make uh, you would have went plague spreader into Arma into the two extra tokens to make uh, savage and and then actually just combo off from there. Um, but today what I'm going to be showing is essentially what if we don't have access to DDR and I actually don't think DDR is a brick It's actually one of the ways to play through hand traps on a soul day and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that But like I said get this video to a thousand likes and you're gonna get it. But anyways, we're gonna now add Phoenix blade back by banishing um, or, or uh, hold on we're gonna add a Phoenix Blade back by banishing Arma and Neo Space Connector, activate DDR, and we're actually gonna bring back Plague Spreader Zombie. So you're probably thinking like, Pack, what the heck? You're crazy. Well, I'm gonna show you. I'm actually not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make Metal Marcher there, bring back Plague Spreader, and then two plus a seven. Oh wait, that's a Charles. Yes, you guessed it. We make Charles there. We're then gonna go into Needle Fiber with the Metal Marcher, right? Make Despot, and now we're gonna summon Aurora Dawn. We're then gonna trigger Despot to bring it back make herald of the arc light so we're safe we're gonna banish dolphin and banish the um isolde and at this point in time i summon back plague spreader because guess what plague spreader is not a hard once per turn yes if it's in the graveyard it's not a hard once per turn so you get it back and this basically substituted the o-line i didn't even have to use aurora's effect tribute itself to summon the o-line from the deck etc etc no i didn't need to do that because just generating three level three tokens was enough and you can see that now, I put back another Gamma, but you could also put back Phoenix Braid because you're actually gonna make um you're actually gonna make roll in here and you're just gonna dump Phoenix anyways at end phase so you keep more card advantage. Um so it like it doesn't even matter. So I think I should have just put the Phoenix Blade back instead of the other gamma off of Plague Spreader the second time. So you're abusing Plague Spreader here. And then we're gonna make um Savage and then just equip Savage and there it is. Full combo, guys. Full combo. At end phase, we're gonna get another card back to our hand and we're gonna loop a card out of our opponents. Like, and we still have the full combo. Like, we still have full combo. And and this is what I'm trying to get at for you guys that, you know, you have to adapt, right? You have to adapt to the ban list. And you have to adapt to cards being banned and then revise your combo. But not a lot of people want to do that. A lot of people just want to say this deck is bad or don't want to play this deck because it's a hard deck. But, well, what I'm trying to do as this channel is I want to break down this deck for you guys so it's a lot easier to learn. And that you can take a higher skilled deck... So that you can also improve as a player. It's a win-win in my opinion. Like I always feel that when I play rewarding decks and harder decks. I feel that I get more out of it. Um, in terms of as not even just like winning. But also improving as a player. 
And, and what I mean by that is that every time you play a skillful deck, you feel rewarded from time you're sequencing your plays on your timing x interaction uh you're you know you know you're basically doing reads like make like basing your plays off your opponent what cards they might have right and, and that type of um interaction and skill like doesn't come with playing a deck like 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 block dragon to be honest and that's why like that deck is now banned but like like that card just rewarded you for playing suboptimally like and it, it's crazy because and having reinforced you know, bad behavior is not the right way to go about it. Like, it's crazy because in this combo, I still have Aurora Dawn. So if I have an extra extender as Renold, I can special summon Renold, add back smoke, use Aurora Dawn effect, tribute the Renold, pop the smoke, and then I rip an extra card out their hand. I actually rip an extra card out their hand with this new combo if I open up any extender. Or like, it has to be Renold, or like a way to get access to the Renold or Heritage, where, which is a six up. This is a 40 card list. I don't, know if, I, don't, I don't know if anyone caught that. This is a 40 card list. And the crazy thing about this deck, versus other decks is that this deck's grind game is so much better than other like combo decks to be quite frank um like you have uh gear freed right like you have gear freed as like a crazy boss monster that this card in the grind by itself is just insane you have charles that this card is a crazy ass boss monster like this card first of all when equipped with oliver and um you know uh, equipped with uh ogier is just so like hard to get rid of like every end phase it just pops a card rips a card out of your hand it's just so like toxic to be honest but man i love this deck and so i hope you guys learned um a little bit today about how to improvise um the reason how i was able to come up with the power tool dragon combo was essentially i noticed that um there were a lot of times in like the uh, the previous combo pre ban list that i saw that i had a lot of times that i can make a synchro seven and i was thinking to myself what is a really strong synchro seven that synergizes really well with this deck and power tool is a thing that came right to my mind the other one that i'm gonna leak the sauce for is choosing rise our dragon and i'll show you in the new combo how to actually um implement that um but yeah today we're gonna be focusing on um power tool dragon and, and that combo today but this is the first draft guys this is 30 minutes of testing this is 30 minutes of brain power just give me a day a week and i'm gonna refine this combo even more like how to play through hand traps, interruptions, etc, etc, right? And so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know your favorite card about this uh, this combo, this tutorial. And uh, if you if you like it overall, I hope you guys enjoyed the discussion. And the not a rant, but kind of like just a way for me to like talk about uh, the state of Yu-Gi-Oh! And the player base, etc. Because I really, really think that... Um, that, that, that there's so much that we can improve on um, as a community and uh, this is one of it so anyways guys thank you so much for attending this video and I'll see you guys in the next one but before you leave uh, right after this video comes out I'm actually going to go live on Twitch um, so definitely go check me out on Twitch at twitch.tv slash pack underscore official underscore TCG I'm actually going to be showcasing this combo live as well as uh, maybe some sneak peek into how to play through hand traps um, in, on my Twitch so uh, check me out there as well, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.